We've recently heard potentially more information about Tesla's Shanghai production. Soya Merritt has reported on Twitter that Tesla China executives say Giga Shanghai is on track to meet goal of manufacturing 500,000 vehicles this year. The source was from this article, but I should also tell you that the part that mentioned the 500,000 vehicles has since been removed. Some people speculate that it might have been because it was false or they were slightly under that number. We can only guess as to why at this stage. But I thought we would try and interpret what 500,000 would mean anyway, as it's possibly true or at least close, and see if it can provide any evidence of potential Model 3 ramping. A lot of you probably watched my video on how Tesla is rumoured to have hit 2,000 Model 3s a day, as well as over 1,600 Model Ys. It was a popular video and provided math to explain how this rumour, as hard to believe as it might be, could actually be true. It's such a big deal that I feel important to stay on top with any other new information that comes to light so we can further validate the potential run rate this factory might have reached. Because if they have, then there's a high probability that all our shares will increase in value significantly, especially in January when the delivery numbers are reported and the financials on the earnings report show such massive profits as a result. But to summarise, my video basically said that the Model 3 factory has 25% more capacity, so it's not unreasonable to assume that Shanghai could produce 25% more Model 3s than the Model Y factory. The thing is, it's not just about the Shanghai factories, it's also about discovering Tesla's true capacity with their custom-built factories and what this information relays into our new state-of-the-art factories. The new factories they started building when the company was worth about 10 times the value of what it was when they were building Shanghai, along with all the other advances in manufacturing Tesla learned, and I'm not just referring to the rear and front die cast and structural 4680 batteries, but all sorts of other processes that have been learnt since their first factory build. And we do have Elon on record saying he thinks he can get these factories to produce at a run rate of 10 to 100 times faster. I think we need to do some maths, which is good because I enjoy maths. This is pretty simple. We have all the numbers from China for each month this year up to October. From there, we can subtract those numbers from this 500,000 number and see what we can infer from that. Now, I've been tracking the China numbers all year, but I felt this was so important for validation's sake, I went through and verified every month for production in Shanghai. As far as I can tell, we're at 354,000 for the year. If Shanghai was to hit 500,000 for the year, then that would leave 146,000 for November and December, or 2,393 a day. This would pretty much exactly correlate to the previous numbers we were hearing of 1,600 Model Ys a day and 800 Model 3s a day. Okay, so not the 2,000 Model 3s a day we were perhaps hoping for, but like I said in that video, even if we had validation of these 1,600 Model Ys a day, I mean, let's not forget how happy we were when we first heard that rumor might be possible. And we're not necessarily discounting the possibility of the Model 3s, but if this number was true, then it likely wouldn't add up. But like I said, it's still really good news and still likely to put us well over 300,000 production for the quarter. Okay, fine, I'll do the numbers for you. It would mean a total of 200,000 from Shanghai for Q4 with 146,000 plus the 54,000 from October, which added onto a bullish Fremont brings us to 330,000 for the quarter. Yet some people are still talking about 260,000 Okay, granted, they are talking deliveries, not production. Actually, I'm hearing some of them get close to 300,000 for production numbers now. And something tells me that as we get closer to the end of the year, we'll hear more people stepping past that 300,000 line for production. This is still very impressive nonetheless, and I'll still be very happy if Tesla achieved 330,000 in production. Like I said, I'm keeping a close eye on this, especially as now I'm back trading. That is 953,000 deliveries for the year. Well, assuming that Q4 deliveries match production, which they may not, but it's around 950,000 produced for the year, which is the important metric anyway. I did not think Tesla would get this close to 1 million for the year. I've had them pegged at just over 900,000 for the whole year, and I even added a few potentially from Texas and Berlin in those figures at the start of the year. No one anticipated Shanghai doing this well, i.e. no one expected Tesla could produce this many vehicles per square feet. I bought options earlier already just from the potential of Shanghai reaching 1600 Model Y today, along with the other events coming along. You see, a stock dip is not always what you think. It's not just when the stock price drops. It's when the stock price has a large discrepancy between its market price and the information we have. 
If some of you recall, back when we hit an all-time high only just recently of around $930, I said in the video, what if this is a dip? And several of you actually said it gave you shivers down your spine. The market can be slow to react at times, and buy the rumor, sell the news often seems to be a good strategy with Tesla. The build-up and anticipation can often do more for the stock price. But either way, this 2000 Model 3 a day rumor did get me thinking, and there is still the potential that the Model 3 factory could hit around 2000 a day sometime, if not already. Clearly the factory is capable of something that close, if Model Y is, and like I say, the only real difference is the Gigapress. But I suspect even without that, it may still be at least the possibility of perhaps hitting 1500 Model 3s in Shanghai. Due to so many being standard range using LFP batteries, there seemed to be plenty of supply for LFP batteries when Fremont moved over from the 2170 batteries to LFP, so perhaps there is enough supply of LFP batteries to build up these Model 3 lines. I believe they can still add more shifts in the Model 3 line and hire more staff, which is what was rumored to have already started. It's likely Tesla just wanted to build their Model Y line first, as they are much more profitable, so it makes sense. But it sounds like these shifts might be close to capacity now, and Tesla will now start working on building the Model 3 lines, assuming, of course, they don't run into supply issues and can continue to ramp up. But the Shanghai Model 3s are likely the production lines to get the least priority with parts, as the margins are going to be the smallest. But by the same token, it makes sense to also leave them as the last ones to ramp up. But don't forget, we do still have Fremont potentially increasing 50% more in production too, which is also pretty huge. These two factories alone could be something like one and a half million units next year, possibly higher. I still think over 2 million totally looks promising for 2022. Anyway, this 500,000 figure was not a concrete figure. It was just something I was interested in exploring myself and thought I would share it with you too and break down the numbers. Read into it what you like. But like I say, I would still be happy enough if that's what Tesla achieved this quarter. It doesn't stop at Shanghai's production numbers anyway. There's still so many major events coming up all packed into the next few months. I'll keep mentioning that as they really are a big deal. And I believe the stock price is once again poised for a jump, but it may take some seeing to believe. Seeing these factories open, seeing deliveries of vehicles with 4680 batteries, seeing the EV bill finalized, and seeing the deliveries and profits for Q4. These are, however, the micro events, which are a bit easier to predict, forecast, and draw inferences and assumptions from. We don't, however, know what the macro can bring. We're obviously in crazy times right now, and my current concern is about liquidity in the markets due to Omicron, bringing the prospect of more lockdowns, and supply chain issues has liquidity tightening. The US dollar seems to be surging against other fiats right now. Gold seems to be stable, which is something at least. Anyway, I write this now before the markets have opened, and you're listening to this probably after the markets have closed, so hopefully it wasn't too disastrous. But there may be a dip on the way, but bear in mind this is just one person's opinion, and this person does not have a crystal ball. If you have two economists in a room, then you would have two different opinions. Unless one of those economists was Keynes, then you'd have three. I joke. Actually, that was Churchill's joke. I can't take all the credit. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.